Five sleep hacks that you can do to get more energy. Up number one, sleep in a cold room. This might seem weird, right? I like to say sleep in a freezer. What you wanna do, there is a few different mechanisms of action. We're not gonna get too into the weeds on this one, okay? But essentially what you do is they have found in different studies, they meaning researchers, scientists, neurologists, people who literally study sleep on a daily basis, have found that sleeping in a colder room or even sleeping in a cold bed, cold sheets is associated with a higher sleep quality. Our bodies tend to heat up when we actually go to sleep, and so it's good to counteract that with a colder room in a colder environment. You sleep in a colder room, you get a higher quality night of sleep, you're going to have more energy that very next day. I wanna know, which one of you guys already knew this one? Drop a like if you're somebody that intentionally turns your air conditioning down or tries to sleep in a very cold room at night. Okay, up number two is my favorite. This is wearing blue light blocking glasses, specifically the ones that are a dark red tint. I literally have them, you know what, I'm gonna go, oh, well, let, let me grab, let me show you mine. Oh yeah, boom, how sexy are those? You like those? We like those. All right, these are my blue light blocking glasses. They are a dark red tint. Now, you might be thinking, why the hell would I wear these bug shades? Why would I wear these at night? Well, let me tell you, okay? So we get a lot of blue light that comes in from screens, LEDs, your phone, your laptop, and what are we doing at night? Most people are low watching TV, scrolling on TikTok, whatever the BS is. And that blue light, there's nothing inherently wrong with the blue light. The thing is, the blue light, when it gets absorbed into our eyes at night, it actually tells a signal to our brain to decrease the production of melatonin. And melatonin is our brain's sleepy chemical. So by wearing glasses like this, it makes sure that all the light that we're actually absorbing gets filtered and gets you know turned into this red or this dark orange light so we're not getting the blue light into our brains. Less blue light at night is going to lead to more REM sleep and a higher quality of sleep, which is going to allow you to have more energy the next day. All right, number three, we're done with these, is going to be what we call mouth taping. Maybe you've heard of this, maybe you have not. So one thing that can happen to people, and it actually happened to me for a little bit as well, is when we sleep and when we go unconscious, we actually tend to start breathing from our mouths. And breathing from our mouths is not ideal. There's been plenty of researchers, professional surfers, professional athletic coaches, and people that have studied athletes that have associated nose breathing with higher amounts of oxygen getting to our brain, higher amount of oxygen getting into our body, and therefore we wanna be breathing through our nose as much as possible, especially while we're sleeping. So what you can do if you can't just train yourself immediately with the snap of your fingers to breathe through your nose while you're unconscious, you can actually just tape your mouth shut. So you can buy some stuff on Amazon, you can do duct tape, you can do whatever the hell works for you and actually makes sense. It's very simple, you tape your mouth shut and then guess what? You're not gonna be opening your mouth and therefore you can't breathe through your mouth while you're asleep. So if you're not breathing through your mouth while you're asleep, guess where you're breathing? That's right, through your nose. Number four is going to be fasting. Okay, have you ever heard somebody say, hey, make sure that you f you know, finish eating two, three hours before going to bed? Yes, well, Andrew Huberman, who is a professor of neurology and ophthalmology at Stanford School of Medicine, talks about this on his podcast all the time, as well as some specialists, anti-aging specialists like David Sinclair, talking about, hey, you don't wanna be eating right before bed. That affects digestion, that affects your quality of sleep. So what you wanna do ideally is you wanna have about three hours of fasting before going to bed. Even longer has seeming to been associated with even better quality of sleep. If you guys have watched any of my other videos or if you've seen that guy, Brian Johnson, who is a biohacker who is spending $2 million a year on his anti-aging routine, one of the things that he does is he's fasting for like nine to 10 hours before going to sleep, which means that he finishes his last meal of the day right now at like 11 a.m. I know that sounds crazy, and I'm not telling you that you should go ahead and do that right off the bat. That might be very difficult for you to adhere to. However, it's worth mentioning, as well as I wanna give you a touch on my personal experience, which is that I started finishing my last meal about 4.30, 5 p.m. every single day, and my bedtime is at 10. So I have a good five hours of fasting before going to bed, and I have noticed by tracking with my Aura Ring that my sleep quality and my amount of REM sleep every night has gone up. Okay, last but not least, we have getting sunlight right in the morning. Now you might think, well, why does this give me more energy? Well, there's actually two
two different reasons why this gives you more energy, okay? So the first one is because getting a light and getting that sunlight in your eyes right in the morning, that's really good for your circadian rhythm, which is your body's internal clock, which regulates that sleep-wake cycle. So getting that sunlight in the morning really kind of sets that clock to go, okay, day is starting, and then that helps your body sort of understand what time of day it is, and then at night, it's going to help your body start winding down, start getting tired, start producing melatonin at the right time, which is going to lead to you sleeping better. When you're sleeping better at night, that next day, you're gonna have more energy. Now, the second reason why you're actually going to have more energy by seeing the sunlight in the morning is because when you do get that sun in your eyes and you're outside, it sends signals to your brain that, hey, it's time to wake up. It starts to kickstart the production of melatonin, which can lead to that body, your body's natural energy, and that can really just send that signal, hey, I'm standing up, I'm outside, I have natural uh, you know, light photons going into my eyeballs, and it sends all those signals to wake up, be productive and be more energized. And that should help you wake up and have more energy and focus and sustained you know, levels all throughout the day. That's it, I hope you guys got some value from this short video. And I want you guys to subscribe, not just for me, but for, for you. I think we need a healthier world. We need healthier people. We need people who are optimizing their health, their fitness, their lifestyle, everything. So follow along with me on my journey. Watch some of my other videos. Drop a like if you're feeling like a homie. Hook me up and I'm gonna wrap it up here. Have a great rest of your week.